All right, this isn't my normal forte here, but what we have is a, what is this, an Asus 17-inch uh, laptop? I don't know what model number, whatever, but user brings in the usual DC jack problem where it won't charge the battery unless they wiggle the, the plug here to make the uh, charge indicator light. And it's a 14-inch laptop. 14-inch X44L Asus laptop DC jack repair. Okay, what it only... We have the jack out already. I did not go into details how we did that, but what you want to do is have a pair of side cutters and a, a good quality pair, not one that's, I won't say, uh, where they're made. And uh, these are India, but uh, anyhow, we use the old clean tools here, the American counterpart, to cut this old jack out without damaging the board. It's surrounded by the grounds. And we use the wick, and you have to carefully solder, unsolder the fragments out once you get the jack out, because these boards can be nine layers thick, so you can't damage the center pin, and not only that, any of the cladding that runs in between the tops and the bottoms of the boards. So there's our fragments we cut out. You want to have a lupe, a glass, so you can magnify and check your, check your work there. Make sure all the holes are cleaned out and uh, they don't make this easy. The newer laptops have a pigtail on the DC jack, so you don't have to go through this annoying mess when you have to change the jack. So we'll solder this in here, and uh, we'll check out the reassembly later. Okay, the, the new jack is, cr is crimped on one pin, so it's placed in the board there. Level, level it out. Sure, that's the way we want it, and now we'll hit it with the and hit it with the solder. But I'm not going to do it on camera. You, I can't stress enough. You have to have good tools, a good tip, a good iron, if you want to be doing this sort of work. So we'll check out this repair. Time here. Let it heat up. Like to count to five, you want to wait till you see the solder flow. The trouble with these jacks is when you trip on them and yank them out, you have a chance you will uh, fracture the again the boards inside, the layers that run in between the layers. So you may not always even get a successful repair, even after the jack is replaced. Okay, that's our final there on the ground. So take a look. Take a look. No shorts. No lead poisoning. Okay, we're rolling. Just want to see how that jack goes. So that's nice and tight. Nice and tight. Okay, that's a wrap. <laughs>